time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, March 26th s p up seven, NASDAQ up 26, Russell up six, Dow up 67, gold barely green, silver down over 1%, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down about a half percent, oil down a half percent, natty gas slightly red, grains are all red, euro and the pound pretty flat, Bitcoin down 1%, red at about 70,000, VIX in the 12 handle, 12.87. Down about two and a half percent on the day. Another quiet day, which is beautiful for zero DTE. Unfortunately, I did not take quite the advantage that, that I did yesterday, but still pretty good. Uh, my challenge portfolio, no stop outs. I've got my one DTE. I've got my two re-entries um, up about 7,400 in that account. Uh, and then in my other account, I did four different price action trades up uh, about 4,000 in that one. And um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, well, what I'm in. Here's here's what I'm still in. Got a couple contracts on this one. 3035s. Got one contract left on the 4025s. And then on my re-entries, got half left. Need a little bounce there to get to center. My 3-2, just left of center. My 1-DTE needs a little bounce as well. 45% uh, on my 1-DTE would be at 620. It's trading at 750. So a little bounce, a little more contraction in IV would get that one. Uh, let's see, our Chad, are you with us today? Chad doesn't look like he's on here. All right. Just me again, my friends, just me again. A lot to talk about today. Actually, not really. There's uh, no premium, so no power hour trade for me. Chad's still out there gobbling. Although I thought I saw him trading today, so. Getting a little bounce back up to 28, 29. What else did I do today? So let's see. Uh, I just realized that my SMH got hit and I did not see it. Must have happened when I stepped away. So let me post that right quick. When did that happen? Uh, wow, before noon, okay. Give me a second. Let me post that. The option selling channel. Okay, so I close that. We booked. 30% on that. Didn't hold it to 50 because we only had it on for about a week. So out of that one, 
Um, added a new time fly today. Which is this one here in the April 19, April 22. By the way, if you haven't heard, the TOS analyze screen is having a little issues displaying um, P&L on diagonals. So it looked like I was up 700 bucks as soon as I put it on, but that's obviously not the case. Also got my NDX trade on. It is just left of center. I added another hedgehog in, NAS in NASDAQ futures. So just put that on today. Got a couple in ES. I added a one, two DTE double calendar. Very small, again, not doing well, short holiday week. I just need to not trade those at all during holiday weeks. I mean, I went pretty, pretty small, but just not really a reason. They just don't have the punch that they do normally. On my last couple of price actions, one's trading at 380. I've got an order to close at 270. My last contract in this one, I've got an order at a dollar. It's trading at a dollar 30. The at the money butterfly, already trading for a dollar 50. So Mahomes might have some action today. Need about another dollar to come out of my one DTE to hit profit target. My one to one is trading at a buck twenty. I've got my profit target at sixty five cents to close at. My three two is trading at a dollar sixty two. I've got my profit target at a buck on that, so we bounce up a little bit more. Should hit. Uh, what I do is I'll go back to the back tester and, you know, if it's two basis points away from the criteria, Chris, then I'll back test it to see if that makes any kind of a substantial difference. And if it doesn't, I'll go with it today. Um, like today I should have gotten in my quiet tranches, but I didn't. So I missed out on those because the filter was messed up on the bot and I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't even think about those until it was too late and I was already in some price action ones. So I just, I just skipped it, but yeah, if it's close, I always just check before it's about to fire. And if it's close, then I'll make that decision. I don't know if there's really a better way than that to do it, but. Yeah, so I missed out on my quiet lunches, my quiet tranches as well. <clears throat> Let's 
So that's unfortunate, but could have worked the other way too. I mean, ideally, I'd like to just have the bots fire based on the criteria. If they don't fire. Criteria wasn't met. The issue is some of these little quirks the bots have been having lately. Pretty frustrating. Like this morning when none of, nothing fired, had to enter everything manually. Um, you know, I know, I know Jordan at Trade Stewards frustrated as well, and he's he's. He's, he's hearing about it. So, um, hopefully that gets fixed. It's just, it's happening too often. You know, if it happens two or three times a week. That's just ridiculous. Low of 25, high of 35, 10 point range all day. ES futures traded only 666,000. Yeah, just super, super light. Close to needing to roll puts up in our MES strangle. Got in it. The 87 day one. Got in it. 34. It's, yeah, just under 17. So I'm going to give it till tomorrow. If we hold around here, push up. I'll roll puts up there. Yeah, Fish, what I've done is I've created POS OCO templates so that in that case, I can easily go in and just kick them in, which is what I did this morning. So, yeah, it's frustrating, though. I probably would have made more in my challenge portfolio because I just I didn't get exact position size per my compounding like the bot would have taken. So I was I would I went in a little bit lighter than I than the bot probably would have. So I missed out on some money there. So that was that's really the main thing for me today. I got everything on, but just a little lighter. Could use one more little bounce. Get out of everything and then market can do whatever it wants. I mean, look at the daily chart. These last two days have just been little specks, especially today. Barely see any tails on that day.
Yeah, the uh, Mahomes is looking good. I did get in a couple, uh, some 30s and some 25s at a buck 30 each. See where those are at later to see if I need to wiggle my way out of that one. And then those are in, in my trader account. So in, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the rest of my price action reentry trades to come off to free up my strikes here and toss to do the end of day one. What is magic, Mahomes? Gonzalo, come on. Where you been, my friend? No, it's a uh it's an end of day strategy. You can check it out in the uh it's it's located in the zero DTE courses. It's basically an end of day short butterfly that can magically be morphed into a basically a vertical spread. Uh, DRB overnight. So VIX overnight moved down max 0.25. Basically, we just don't want VIX to contract too much for that criteria to, to work out. One more little five-point bounce. That's all I need. That's it. Just a little baby five-pointer. Dick K, are you on here today? There he is. Did you uh did you get in your quiet quiet tranches? Nice. Yeah, I had to manually do my NDX as well. I had, I had to manually do all my trades. My two re-entries in my challenge portfolio, my 1DTE, my NDX, everything. So the criteria was just out of range. And then by the time I realized it, it was too late, so I didn't manually fire mine. SPX gapped up 0.2%. I think, I think Trade Steward had it at... Um, 0.25, maybe. Trade Steward had it at uh, 
Oh, whoops, I'm on the wrong activity. That's the problem. Point two four. Yeah, so officially on the toss indicator anyway, it is point two. Trade steward had point two four. Looking for a dollar on my 2540s. It's at a dollar 35. My 3035s looking for 270. It's at 380. Still need more, a little more upside. At the money, 30 flies trading for it about a buck 60. Tranche two, if you're going for tranche two, you can get inverted right now. Or pick a straddle. Pick a straddle, any straddle. Did you guys skip your calendar? Dick, hey, do you do your calendars Friday? Or the one, two, one, three, the last couple days? It's just not worth it on these holiday weeks, man. I did reduce size significantly, but it just passed. Yeah, the four five did good. The one, two, and one, three that I took off this morning were basically a scratch. One of them, one of them won a little bit, one lost a little bit. In other news, I did have a delicious 
ahi tuna steak for lunch today, seared to perfection. So that was good. That was probably the highlight of my day. I am the NT staff chef, Ken. <laughs> Uh, Wuga didn't fire because, well, I don't know. Actually, I had conflicting strikes, so that was the uh, activity that I saw, but it may not have qualified with the low premiums. Which I don't, I mean, that's kind of the way that I play Wuga anyway, is I, if I have no conflicting strikes, I'll do it. And if it's not an update, I'll do it. So that doesn't matter too much to me, but. Yeah, it, it's that's the thing with that one because the widths are so tight, it's tough not to have conflicting strikes if you're trading multiple strategies around the money. I know, I just. I'm I'm about to open another account in my wife's name. So I so I can free free up some more SPX strikes, baby. I was gonna do it on trade a year. So that they ran into that trade steward issue. Uh, yes, it is DRB. I added it. It there's a link. If you go to the Trade Plans channel, it's right there. He doesn't talk about it because it came after that, but it's I posted a link to the back test there. I mean, if my kids were old enough to be allowed to trade options, I'd open accounts in their names too. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, Alex. Yeah, as soon as my kids turn 18, they're going to have naked options traded like crazy, and they're not even going to know about it. <laughs> Multiple bot edit? I have not. Multiple bot edit. I don't know if I've ever even seen that. <clears throat> oh, I see. Edit multiple bots. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's handy. I like it. Yeah, I picked two random ones and it there's a big warning. So yeah, but on like the tranching bots, that'd be perfect. Huh. See, now Meech, that's why we keep you around here, buddy. Every once in a while you come through with a little nugget like that and just completely redeem yourself. You're trying you're trying to get something named after you. You're trying. I gotta appreciate I appreciate the effort. I appreciate the effort. That just doesn't roll off the tongue very well though.
All right, SPX at lows of day. Big three point move lower. I mean, we really kind of peaked out at the top of that first five minute bar. It's been basically all below that. <clears throat> Already at a buck 80 on the 25 fly. Meech, if you come, if you if you find a trade, we'll we'll name it the Golden Corral trade. How about that? <laughs> there you go. Golden shark, golden butterfly, the golden corral, aka the Meech. Yep, that's right, Kelvin. Oh, it's going to qualify. We might be able to get in in about 10 or 15 minutes here if we're hanging around a strike. Just start start with the one lot, so you uh, you know just understand which strikes you're using on the verticals. That it's kind of confusing at first. I would love a bounce up to 5230. That would get me out of everything. Yeah, I'll be doing it on toss. I sometimes I have to do it in tradier because I don't have any strikes available in toss, but I will today. It's not wanting to give me that little bounce, is it?
By the way, if you're just joining us today for the first time, obviously premiums are very low. So not any new power hour positions. You can check my trade plan in the trade plans channel. That's updated once a month. I'll be updating that for April here in the next couple of days. So that'll give you all the details of exactly how I trade zero DTE, including power hour. Uh, just for my challenge portfolio, I'm going to add a little bit of update power hour in there. Um, I'm going to add the uh, that ratio diagonal on FOMC days. That's about it. Yeah, Lasoza, like yesterday, I um I I got in as soon as it was at two bucks and then it kind of hung around the same strike. So I added some more at like two thirty or something like that. So that's what I'll probably try to do again today. The the issue with doing that is it if it runs away from that strike, then you're kind of stuck with a smaller position than you wanted, but Ah, uh, the challenge is going awesome, Meech. My, uh, the back test of my challenge going back to May got me, it got me to 152 million and I'm, I'm outpacing the back test. So I should be at least at 200 million account size in 18 months. And when I add the update power hour to it, it takes my back test up to 749 million, which means I'm really on pace for about a billion. <laughs> no, it is it is going well though. I um so I, I started doing it a little bit before March, but then so but March 1st was kind of my official official date and the account value. So the starting I, I was I was trying to start the account at 100. Oh, geez. I just got stopped out of something. Little flush. Okay, so I got stopped out of my remaining price actions, got stopped out of my remaining. No, I still got this one on. Stopped out of my remaining re-entries. Nope, still got my 3-2 on. So I stopped out of my 1-to-1. One one. VIX spiked up to 13. Little fleshy flush. Let's see what that pumped up these butterflies to. The 20 is now at buck 50. A second, just doing something in my trader account here. So the 
25 calls. Calls, buck sixty. So this isn't the end of Dave Mahomes thing, but just to kind of give you a little bit more in, into this. So I've this is what I did in my trader account. Uh, when I was trading at 30, I got into a short butterfly for a buck 30, moved down to 25, sold those for a buck 30, and I just sold the 20s for a buck 60. So now I've collected a total of $3 or $4.20. So I've only got $80 of risk here. If it goes down one more strike, I'll have zero risk with a free shot. So I'm going to put an order on the 15s. I'll put it at a buck 60 for now. Still coming down. Still in my last remaining three, two. It's right at yesterday's close. All right, so I got I just got filled at a buck sixty on the fifteens. All right, so just got stopped out of those. So I'm in no more re-entry. So I still have my one DTE, which is not doing so hot as it was. In fact, it's basically a break even now in, in the red tiny bit. Still book a profit if we bounce, but it's very close to profit target. So here's here so here's what I've done. So let's see, I don't have the time stamps on these, but basically when it was trading up here around 30 around this area, I sold some 30 flies. 30 is the mid strike for buck 30. Came down to 25. Actually, it was probably right here. Came down to 25, sold some 25s for a buck 30. Came down to 20. Sold the 20s for a buck 60, came down to 15 or close to it, sold the 15s for a buck 60. So now I've got my worst case scenario is I could make $400 because I've collected over five bucks in credit. And I've got a free shot if this thing really moves up to, I did a five lot on each so I could make up to 2,900 if we fall big or bounce big. Cody, sometimes it depends. Like sometimes I'll start, I'll start layering in at a buck. You know, if, if you get a dollar credit though, you've got to cover five different strikes to get to that five dollars credit. In this case, I was getting a buck thirty, buck thirty, buck sixty, buck sixty. So I was able to do it across four strikes and have a free shot.
It's, it's the same concept as the Mahomes, Kelvin. It's just starting a little bit earlier and layering in at different strikes as opposed to just waiting for the, the one at the end of the day. So I have those in my trader account. So I'll do my my one end of day one here and toss. So the 15 is currently selling for buck fifty. I mean that big movement kind of pumped up, pumped or reduced the credit. So now we'll see if we can even get two bucks. Of course, it's it's in between strikes once it gets towards 20 or 15. I have a better idea of what it's trading for. So I just got to remember to close out my one DTE since it's not botted. So we got about 21 minutes to go. About 11 minutes until the MOC number. We get a fed head say something? What happened? Market just needed to move. It'd been cooped up for too long. For two days, it'd been cooped up. Had to move. Fifteens are selling for about a buck sixty, maybe seventy. It can kind of settle down here for a minute. The next ten minutes. NDX pushed out of range on that move.
All right. So we need to get to either 20 or 15 here in the next seven minutes to give us a shot. I don't think it's going to be trading at two bucks now, but we'll see. So what, anyway, what I was saying about my uh, challenge portfolio before I got rudely interrupted by SPX in that flush is, uh, yeah, so I was trying to, I was trying to start the challenge portfolio at, I took some money out of the account. I was trying to start it at about 130,000 and then through February, I, I gained some. And so I was like, oh, instead of taking more out, I'll just, I'll just leave it. So my Official starting balance at the first of March was one hundred forty-one thousand, and now it's at uh, one ninety-nine. It was over two hundred till just about ten minutes ago. I haven't compared that to the back test yet, but yeah, just in March. So the 15 fly trading for about a buck 80. So my percent allocation was, uh, look at the SPX still coming down, about to hit the expected move to the downside. Uh, my allocation was, um, so I was going to do a re-entry just using 50% of the buying power, but I, I decided to split it up. So I'm doing 25% in the 3-2, 25% in the 1-1, one, 15% one, in the 1-DTE, and 3% in early RIC, and 3% in the late RIC. Down to 52.11, bouncing back up a little bit. About 15 minutes to go. Fifteen fly only trading for a buck seventy eighty. Got the MOC number here in about three and a half minutes.
VIX up to 13.25. You know we're in low volatility when you say the VIX up to 13.25. At a little over a minute, it's not going to get there. Still coming down. So no Mahomes, but my other flies are doing good. It's not doing good for my one DTE though. MOC number in about 40 seconds. MOC should be coming out here shortly. Four point nine billion sell side. So I'm going short. Four point nine billion sell side. Yeah, it sure looked like that one was anticipated, didn't it? Well, my one DTE was almost a profit target. Now it's going to be red. Close it out here in about four minutes. We need we need somebody to get the inside track on this MOC number before it comes out. Elliot
You got any connections? <laughs> Nancy's got the number. <laughs> Nancy definitely has the number. Nancy got the number about 10 minutes ago. Maybe 30 minutes ago. All right, I'm going to get out of my one DTE. Still green in my challenge portfolio, but I was really green. Oh, do I have any puts that are worth anything? Nope. Yeah, I'm still holding my MOC. I have seen quite a few times where it waits to the last five minutes, but after a flush like that, I'm not super confident we're going to go lower, but I'm going to continue to hold. My butterflies expired right here. I'd make about 2,400. All right, let's get one more flush. Why stop here? One more 10 point flush. Fifty two ten butterflies trading at two fifty. Do you think we still got a five point move in us? Coming down, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna close some. Of, I'm gonna close six of my ten MOC futures. Just take some profits off here. I'll leave the remaining four into the close. Oh, took it off too soon. Look at that. Wow. Took it off about 10 seconds too soon. Look at that little baby run. My butterflies are now worth 2,900 max profit if we, if we stop here and don't bounce.
What time did you get into your butterfly, madam? Did you get in for two bucks? You could have got in right when I was talking about it for two fifty. All right. A little over a minute. Let's see, one more little flush for my futures. Fifty two oh five. Come on down. Just melt, melt into the clothes. All right. I'm out at 65. All right. So MOC and the butterflies helped green in my portfolio challenge account, green in my other account, but <clears throat> not as green. All right, all tomorrow is a new day. Tomorrow is the 27th. So we'll be streaming for zero DTE at the open and for power hour. All right, all take care. Have a good night. Cheers.